Hello, my name is David Brees and I want to tell you about my favourite object in the Great North Museum. It's this inscription. It was found about 250 years ago at a place we now call Hot Bank on Hadrian's Wall, uh, which is immediately beside the Mar Castle numbered number 38, working westwards from Wall's End. And it's a fascinating and important inscription, though the importance wasn't realised for another hundred years. But in 1840, a man called John Hodson wrote a book on the history of Northumberland. And in an incredibly long footnote, he used evidence such as this inscription to show that Hadrian's Wall had indeed been built by Hadrian. Now, this may seem nonsensical to us, but all the sources from the Roman period said that he Septimius Severus built Hadrian's Wall. But Hadrian's Wall is a complex monument, so people thought that perhaps the bit that Hadrian had built was what we today call the Vallum, the great earthwork immediately south of the wall. But John Hodson showed that this and other inscriptions did indeed demonstrate that the wall itself, the great stone wall across from Wall's End to Bonus and Solway, had been built by Hadrian himself. And part of the evidence is here with Hadrian's name, H-A-D-R-I-A-N-I, -I, Hadrianus Augustus, Emperor, then the legion that built it, Legion 2, A-U-G, Augusta, and at the bottom is the name of the governor who was responsible for the work, a man called Aulus Plautorius Nepos, who was a friend of the Emperor Hadrian himself. So this is one of the vital pieces of evidence from Hadrian's Wall, which demonstrates who built it, Hadrian, who was a man in charge on the spot, the governor Aulus Plautorius Nepos, and which legion built this particular mile castle, Legion II Augusta, which was based at Caerleon in South Wales and came north for this task. You couldn't ask for a more important surviving object from Hayden's Wall.